Regent Exam, Algebra 1, August 2016, Problem number 20. An online company lets you download songs for 99 cents each after you have paid a $5 membership fee. Which domain would be the most appropriate to calculate the cost to download songs? In this problem, we need to determine the type of numbers that our variable is allowed to have in order to appropriately calculate the cost to download songs. Let's first determine the variable expression that can be used to calculate the total cost to download songs. And then, we will systematically go through the given options to see which one would be the most appropriate. According to the problem, there is an initial membership fee of $5, which has to be paid before you even start to download songs. Once you pay the membership fee, then you will be allowed to download songs for 99 cents each. So if we let x represent the number of songs, then the total cost for downloading x number of songs will be given by the following expression, 5 plus 0.99x. This expression represents the total cost for downloading x number of songs. Now let's systematically go through the given options and determine which one would be the most appropriate. Option 1 reads, rational numbers greater than 0. Recall that the set of rational numbers consists of all the numbers of the form a over b, where a and b are integers, provided that b does not equal 0. The set of numbers includes numbers such as 1, 2, 3, as well as fractions such as 1 half, 3 halves, and 1 eighth. If we allow the domain of x, the number of songs, to be the set of rational numbers greater than 0, then we would be able to purchase any multiple of a positive integer, such as 1, 5, or 20. This means that we can also purchase a fractional portion of a song, such as 1 half, 3 halves, and 1 eighth. This is a problem since we do not usually buy half a song or an eighth of a song. So this domain does not make sense. Option 2 reads whole numbers greater than or equal to 1. This domain includes all the whole numbers greater than or equal to 1. This includes numbers such as 1, 2, 10, and 20. Since the domain consists entirely of whole numbers, there shouldn't be a problem assigning this domain to the possible values of x, the number of songs bought, since the whole numbers represents the purchase of a complete song and not a fractional portion of it. It seems that this is our answer. Just to make sure, let's take a look at the remaining options. Option 3 reads, integers less than or equal to 0. This set will include numbers such as 0, negative 1, negative 5, and negative 20. The number 0 makes sense since you can decide not to buy a song. But the negative integers means that the online company will actually pay us 99 cents when we decide to purchase a song. So this domain makes no sense. Companies tend to take your money, not give you money. Option 4 reads, whole numbers less than or equal to 1. This is very similar to the set of numbers from option 3. As a result, this option will also make no sense for the domain of the variable x. Doing so would make the company pay us money for buying songs. In the end, the option that makes most sense is option 2, whole numbers greater than or equal to 1. And this is our final answer.